In our interview this week, Ms. Mansur Danali talks about efforts to rescue the abducted Dapchi schoolgirls and other missing persons and the plan for security across the country. Take a listen. Mr. Mansour Danali, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Well, you mentioned earlier, uh, perhaps two years ago or thereabouts, that um, no territory, no Nigerian territory, no local government area is under the control of Boko Haram. Is that still the case right now? Of recent, okay. we said so during the town hall meeting at uh, Meduguni. It is true that no Nigerian territory is under captive of Boko Haram terrorists. Why well, I say so, hitherto, they used to have plaques that they sign as a sign of authority. They put it in any of the villages or any of the territory that they captured. Of recent, you remember last year or there about December, the center most of their captured ter territory or sign of authority was captured by the Nigeria Armed Forces at Camp Zero, if you can remember. So I still insist that we don't have any territory of Niger Nigerian territory being under the captive of uh, Boko Haram. Very well. If you, if you say so, when they had um, territories, the so-called areas under their control, there were bombings. Now, you mentioned they're no more, uh, they, they don't have any territory under their control, but we still have the same situation. But when you say situation, it's not, uh, it's not the same. When you say same situation, either to they can drive all the way from Maiduguri up to Bauchi, up to Gombe, where they even went to Ashaka, did attack the place, ransack, collect some money, and went back. You say there are no more attacks? Of course, there can be a completely uh, this uh, zero attack. Why I'm saying there is ambushes, what we call uh, ambush is you lay it down whereby troops are passing, you attack them. But also there are what we call surprise attacks. You can't have every individual village to be, you know, uh, you get soldiers deployment. But all we are saying, before they can organize a massive attack, come and attack military formation and go back without any uh, repercussion. Now, those period are gone. But surprise attacks, pocket of two or three elements of surprise, they can come uh, underground and leap. Do you think some members of Boko Haram are responsible for the herdsmen clash we have now? Well, you can never tell. But we are investigating, and uh, the security, I mean, intelligence sources are on their toes. We have uh, asked them to bring out or to find out what is really happening. Like you said, when they are dispersed, two or three packets can sneak and find themselves somewhere else where they can be having all these surprise attacks. So it can't be ruled out. There are factions of Boko Haram, are they? They do, they do have How many factions? Well, I cannot tell. I have no How many are you aware of now? Right well, now? the major ones are the Alamanai and the, the Shaka factions that we know. Because it is strange that from time to time we hear that Shekau is dead. Shekau is dead. And then we wonder. Why the announcements when we don't even know how many factions are there? And how do you get to such no, conclusions? For, for sure, even if he's dead, he has some other commanders that take over. A force does not die off like that. The moment they have what we call secession, if one dies, another one takes over. So those are some of the issues that are uh, happening now. Bring us up to speed with the abduction of, uh, of the Dapchi girls. What is happening right now? Well, with the rescue, uh, we have uh, dispatched all the surveillance devices we have in terms of air, human resource, intelligence, and other force that needed to be uh, in place by all possible means. And we have uh, made sure that all this needed is being done to see that these girls are being found out where. I mean, wherever they are. How much hope is there? Well, uh, 
I cannot determine it's an operation, but as soon as possible. And I'm sure with the latest intelligence uh, this, uh, information we are getting, we shall get them soonest. So what exactly happened? L uh, let, let me tell, tell you, yes. we'll never decide on our responsibility. Since that uh, uh, abduction happened, we, take, we took responsibility. We don't hide facts. We are there. We are agreed. But the only thing yeah, that okay. we complete. Let me tell you. Let me, let me, let, let let me finish. Yes. Uh, the conflicting uh, issues were the numbers. People know that after the abduction, there were some people, uh, some of the students that dispersed. And you can never tell whether they have gone to the villages or they have gone to safe places. So it took us time to compile. Even the school authorities and the government did so. It took time before they compiled the numbers. So it wasn't uh, any denial. Did it come as a shock that they left a week before that incident took place? That is not true. Because we have eyewitnesses that mention that they were even directed to the school. So if you say a week before, then what of the eyewitness who even uh, gave confession on ground, this uh, press people were there and they asked.